Okay, welcome. Here we are at 9531 Parkwood in Kansas City, Missouri. It is currently a three bedroom, one bath um, with an easy conversion to four bedrooms. I'm gonna add a bath over to the right. We see the little, little kick out to the right of this building. And also uh, can add a second bath upstairs uh, relatively easily. There's space for it and I think it'll look great. So let's go inside. And as we go in, we'll take a little look at the neighbors. It's a nice neighborhood. Um, everyone takes care of their houses. Yards are nice. There's somebody cutting his yard over there. You can see up the hill. And we have woods all to the right here. Really nice wooded lot, sort of secluded. And um, let's go inside. The first thing we'll notice when we go inside is it open. There are hardwoods under this carpet. Um, ceiling fan obviously works. Really nice big windows in the front. The HVAC looks good. Um, may need, oh, need a servicing on it for sure, but it has it still is, looks like it's gonna be operable. So relatively easy fix there. Dining room, nice hardwood floors. Haven't been cleaned up at all, but you know, just a little bit of work on them and they'll look fantastic. Your French doors at the end that go out to a deck, which we'll go out in a second. Remember the fourth bedroom we talked about, it's right through this opening here from the dining room. You can see the vaulted ceiling and then the windows. Uh, drywall would all come out and put new drywall across the walls. Nice long, used to be a garage and they've converted it to an extra room. Straight down below us is where we could add a closet to make an official bedroom. And then probably a ceiling fan right there to cool it down and make it nice. Uh, French doors again and we go back across. Here's talking about opening up this, this doorway to be almost twice as big as it is right now which will feed into the kitchen and open up the floor plan a little bit. Great cabinets look good. Refrigerator goes right here. And uh, probably drop in a freestanding stove. Nice looking cabinets, all of those could stay. Might lose some of them at the end. A few changes we can talk about doing. I like, I like this Fred Flintstone look. All that of course would come out and drywall would go in. But uh, nice windows, nice roomy kitchen. So back out and then we say through the French doors, take a quick look at the backyard. Real nice deck, goes out, big. Uh, there's the woods we were looking at initially. Also take a glimpse at the roof. Shingling looks good, got good life on it. It's only one layer, nice. Mm, and then out we go. Neighborhood, take a look at the neighbor's backyard. You know, nice deck over here, a nice big house next door and beyond. Well cared for lawns and have a couple of dogs next door, they're real nice. And backyard, nice. There's a fence that goes all the way around, a little bit of repair work and it'll be up and tight. Um, back inside we go. Back into the dining room area. And then this doorway to the right takes down to the basement, which there is no light in the basement, so we won't go down. But there is uh, there's a, a shop down there that's probably 10 by 10. And it's got uh, shop lights in it, electrics pulled down, and a couple of work tables that are really nice. And there's also the HVAC, of course, which works pretty well. And a laundry room, a little area for, with washer dryer hookups, looks great. So back through to the left side of the house, we go into the hallway and to the left side, we see the bedroom. Nice bedroom, crown molding. Paint would, all, would be repainted, but it looks nice. A couple of nice windows, closet, carpet, probably get replaced. Um, it's close though. And then to the left in between the two bedrooms is a bath. It's a linen closet right here. And then the tile in here looks fantastic. It's very tight. It's clean grout all the way to the ceiling. Somebody went crazy with the tile, um, but it looks fantastic. I have no work needed on, on the tile at all. Bath looks good. Clean up, it looked great. Toilet, vanity, looks nice. And then the other bedroom, the second bedroom here, uh, very similar to the first. Little repair job on the ceiling. That'll all be textured out and look great. And a uh, little closet, just a standard small, probably a 12 by 9 by 12 bedroom. And then we go to the, the third bedroom, I guess we call it, and up the stairs, a little railing on each side, it's vaulted obviously, and new window on the end here, a little bed could go here, and then as we turn, you can see back here to the left and right, just walk around the staircasing, and at the end is where we could put the second bathroom very easily. It's currently not plumbed, there's no service, there's no water supply lines. And there's no drain lines up here, but we can add that. We've got a bid on doing that. should not, not be difficult to do. And maybe put the, uh, a bathtub under the window. Put the 
toilet off to the left here back into this little where there's a little closet there and just have the toilet sit here and leave the sink pretty much where it is and have a functional full second bathroom so there you go um, any other questions call call the number on the website here and I uh, hope that was helpful